Hello, have you ever heard of a dental abscess? This problem can leave you with a headache, literally, and a lot of swelling in your mouth. And believe me, it's not just any pain. If not treated correctly, this condition can lead to serious complications. But don't worry. I'll explain everything you need to know about the causes, symptoms, and treatments of a dental abscess so that you're prepared if you come across this situation. I'm Dr. G. Yusef, and today we're going to talk about dental abscess. A dental abscess is a bacterial infection that can cause a lot of pain and discomfort. The infection is caused by bacteria that infiltrate the dental pulp, which is the inner part of the tooth. This can occur due to an untreated cavity, a tooth fracture, or even after a dental procedure, such as extraction or root canal. Once the bacteria enter the tooth, they begin to spread and cause inflammation. This inflammation can lead to the formation of pus, which is a mixture of dead cells, tissue, and dead bacteria. The pus can accumulate inside the tooth or in the root, causing swelling and pain. Symptoms of a dental abscess may include persistent and throbbing toothache, extreme sensitivity to temperature, pain when chewing or biting fever, swelling in the face or cheeks, swollen or tender lymph nodes in the jaw or neck, and a bad-tasting liquid flow in the mouth, followed by cessation of pain, which may indicate that the abscess has ruptured. There are some risk factors that can increase the likelihood of developing a dental abscess. Poor oral hygiene habits, such as not brushing teeth or using dental floss regularly, can increase the risk of cavities and dental infection. A diet high in sugar can also increase the risk of cavities and infection. In addition, certain medical conditions such as diabetes and autoimmune diseases can increase the risk of dental infection. If you think you may have a dental abscess, it is important to seek a dentist immediately, as the infection can spread and put your health at risk. The treatment for a dental abscess involves a range of options depending on the severity of the case. The goal is to drain the abscess and eliminate the infection in the area. The preferred option is root canal treatment. When the tooth cannot be saved through this treatment, dental extraction is the last resort. The prescription of antibiotics will depend on the location and extent of the infection. If the infection is close to the affected area of the abscess, the dentist may choose not to prescribe antibiotics, but if the infection spreads, they may be prescribed to help reduce or slow the infection, especially in people with weakened immune systems. The absence of treatment for a dental abscess can lead to serious and even fatal complications, so it is essential to seek help from a dentist as soon as symptoms arise. To wrap up, I would like to highlight the importance of health in our lives and encourage the practice of healthy habits to ensure well-being. Don't miss the opportunity to stay up to date on the latest news and reliable information about health. Subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video. Together, let's take care of our health and keep our body and mind in harmony. Thank you for following along and until next time.